We hit the big 3-0 in the Skylanders Spyro's Adventure review with Zook, a life element Skylander who looks like a deformed acorn with an RPG. Or maybe a really angry potted plant. I'm, I'm not sure what to say about this guy. He looks kind of weird. Zook, and his name is odd too because if you say it wrong, like Zook, it sounds like a tablet that you could use for reading. I'm enjoying Harry Potter on my Zook. <laughs> Zook looks kind of strange, but boy is he a tough Skylander. If you'd like to take out enemies from a distance, this is your... thing. Although he's not very good when surrounded. Zook's RPG is extremely powerful, but he's not as slow as you might expect. Which gives him some maneuverability so you can run around and shoot your enemies. But he's pretty much worthless when you want to fight somebody up close. So when fighting these shield guys, instead of just bashing them up close like a lot of Skylanders, you wait until they strike and then lob a mortar on their head. So basically, Zook is a lot of fun to play with. Although, he just looks so strange on the shelf compared to a lot of the other ones that are made from dragons and stuff. Zook looks like a plant that someone threw out a window. Zook is probably one of your best life element Skylanders, especially if you're looking for some firepower, because Flameslinger is a lot faster and more nimble, but he does a lot less damage, and Stump Smash looks like he was kicked out of the Ents. This guy is a good secret weapon, not one of the flashier Skylanders, but he packs a serious punch. I mean, who, who doesn't like an RPG? Now, if only he didn't look like a deformed plant. He's got a couple nice upgradable attacks, like the Mushroom Wall of Doom, and a mortar that works really well. Visually, kind of strange, but extremely effective and a lot of fun to use. It's Zook, which, if you spell it backwards, is Kuz. And that has nothing to do with anything, I just thought of it. Kneel before Zook!